So hello and welcome here again to a new video and today we're going to talk about the Primax AirDrop which is basically confirmed uh, as we're going to have a look into that why and also if you're new to the channel make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe because that helps out the channel quite a lot in the current times like crypto being that uh, you know some support is not too bad but yeah regarding that we are still going to talk about how you can receive potentially one AirDrop and we already see one Thing over here on the medium page you can see here early access to Primax the ability to earn exclusive prizes private challenges and even more and that pretty much signals you that you can benefit from actually coming over here onto the Primax uh, website and go ahead and perform the actions that we're going to show you first of all you need some girly Ethereum and I'm showcasing here one of the many faucets that you can use. Uh, there are a lot out there and I suggest you have a look at them. Submit your Ethereum address over and pretty much you are good to go. You can then, if you get the Ethereum in your wallet, perform every action that we show now uh, because it's important to do everything simply just to increase the chances of receiving the airdrop. And by the way, uh, on the faucet here, this is again a faucet where you get wrapped ETH, wrapped Bitcoin, USDC and also some chain link. Um, you need them uh, because this is not the same ETH that you already have in your wallet. This is their own test token. Uh, so you need to get all of them again, just one transaction. You can do that every 24 hours. And it's very important, uh, before I forget to mention that actually, um, that you fill out the early user application. I actually should have mentioned that a bit earlier. You need to fill that out, you need to uh, get in the details of your wallet, what you want to do on the website, why you want to join and so on. So it's very important to actually uh, go over there, put your stuff in, join the Discord and you also will receive the role um, again on the Discord server where you then can uh, pretty much have the ability to get the airdrop and again 24 uh, hours time to do the stuff that is shown here you can come over to buckets for example which is one of the next things that you should be doing uh, on the daily basis I'm going to put in the deposit for all the tokens that are listed there for example we got Ethereum we got Bitcoin and we got USDC uh, there are more to come as you can see here, but yet for on the beta network, there are only three out there yet. So you only have to manage around three daily, which is not too bad. Again, why am I saying daily? Because uh, the better, uh, it, let's say the more you do, the higher the chances of actually getting an airdrop. And I would say if you do that consistent uh, on a daily basis, mm -hmm. the chances of you getting an airdrop if it comes out uh, is very likely because they obviously are not going to reward someone who only does one thing. They are going to reward the people who done 10 or 20 souls. And we saw it with optimism, for example, the more you have done, even on other applications, mm -hmm. the better the rewards that you have received. And if you have done, by the way, the buckets where you even mm -hmm. earn interest later on, uh, in the main net you will earn interest on those and those will be used to somewhat use in the trading and it's fairly simple to actually do the stuff you can even go out onto the deposits and withdraw them again on the test that i would not really recommend uh, taking the deposits out because there's not really a point on doing so besides maybe farming a bit of volume but if it comes to volume you should not struggle with that as you can see we pretty much have 65 Ethereum already supplied uh, with 2.5 Bitcoin and 127,000 USDC. And that is only from coming over onto the token faucet and doing that stuff daily. Again, you also have Chainlink, but with Chainlink you can do one thing more, which is going over onto the trading side. And on the trading side, you also have a few options that you can do. You have spot trading as well as margin. I did a margin uh, position with some USDC on Bitcoin uh, and we have available balance around 8,000 uh, to do a spot trade and I'm going to just show you how it's done. Put in the number U12, 
put into the trade, AK, and then you hit swap. And again, your MetaMask will show up. You need some girly task, Ethereum, so hopefully you have some in your wallet. If not, again, go into the faucets where you can do that. And now, after submitting the transaction, your position will be shown into the spot position, as well as if you would go ahead and do a margin position, that will be, as you can see, shown right over here, and we can just simply close the, pos uh, the position, uh, edit the position, and whatsoever. And I would recommend doing that a few times a day, maybe even, I don't know, once, twice daily, I don't know, it's really up to you, but the more volume you farm, the better it will be. I do around two to three transactions a day. I try at least, if I forget one time, it's not that bad, but to have done at least 10 or 20 um, transactions, that would be at least a good amount, I would say, uh, for you to qualify for the airdrop. And again, <coughs> it's pretty much confirmed that they are going to do an airdrop because they already stated it and the fact that you now know what you can do that's pretty much everything that I have for you regarding Primax and uh, just talking a bit about crypto now it doesn't look good but that was by the way a bit the drop that I actually anticipated but it was actually uh, yeah to FTX not really because of crypto it's dumping uh, FTX pretty much just crushed crypto as Luna did it a few weeks uh, before. And again, this has nothing to do with the airdrop. This is just a bit of crypto prediction uh, talk that we're going to do because I think it's important in uh, trade. No, I'm too stupid trading view. There we go. Because I think it's important to have a look at uh, the charts, sadly, in moments like this. and see what's going on because we actually did say uh, crypto should not be pushing and one thing why i did say it is simply because uh, i don't have it enabled but yeah we did back then take a measurement of the last four bull markets and after the crashes that they had and pretty much the approximate that they fell down were around minus 80 to minus 84 percent and so far Bitcoin did not reach the 80 to 84 percent range and that range would be around 14k to around 12,000 and if it reaches that price I would highly say okay we have reached the bottom but for now I would say this keeps on falling because there's no indentication that we are going up even on the Chimoku cloud it did confirm uh, which did bait I think a lot of trader into taking position because it's a reliable indicator. I'm not going to talk too much about candlesticks and shit like this on the channel, just a bit to uh, give you guys an idea. And if you see it cross, you can pretty much see it did significant, um, it did hold it significant, but after the FTX, yeah, well, hmm, here we go. And again, everything is gone. And for Ethereum, pretty much the same. Again, why this crossing blue, so. That pretty much signals, oh my god, danger, danger. A few minutes very likely to dump, and you could say, okay, I'm going to base a trade on it, but be careful. But that could be useful to know if you're using Primax and you base the trades around that. But pretty much that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.